So let's start with this question. Where does a person get their genes? Well, the first thing you need are parents. These are my parents and that's me. My mom produced an egg that contained 50% of her DNA and she passed that along to me. And my dad made some sperm that has 50% of his DNA and he, when those two combined, that made me. So I get 50% of my DNA from my mom and 50% of my DNA from my dad. So I do look a lot like my mom, but I don't look exactly like my mom. For one thing, she's a lot shorter than me. So why don't I look exactly like my parents? Well, this has to do with the copies of genes that we have in our body. All people carry two copies of every gene in their body, one from their mom and one from their dad. These are stored on their chromosomes. The different types of genes that a person has are called alleles. Now, alleles can be dominant or recessive, and this affects which one shows up. Traits caused by dominant alleles always show up in the organism, even if there's only one copy of the allele. Traits caused by a recessive allele can only show up in the organism if there are two copies of that allele. So what this means is sometimes a trait caused by an allele shows up, but sometimes it doesn't. So this is probably a little bit confusing, so let's look at some examples to help us understand it better. So for this first example, we're gonna talk about what happens when you inherit two dominant alleles. And for this case, we're gonna talk about needing glasses. So you can see from this picture that my mom has the trait of needing glasses and so does my dad. So how did I end up needing glasses? Well, my mom passed me the needing glasses allele in her egg and my dad passed me the needing glasses allele in his sperm, so I have the trait of needing glasses. I got two dominant alleles on both sides, so obviously I'm going to need glasses. Let's look at another example where I'm gonna inherit two recessive alleles. In this example, we're gonna talk about having freckles. So in humans, having freckles is dominant to not having freckles. If you look at my mom, she doesn't have any freckles. And if you look at my dad, well, he doesn't have any freckles either. So my mom passes me the no freckles allele in her egg, and my dad passed me the no freckles allele in his sperm. So obviously, I don't have freckles. I didn't get the allele for freckles from my mom or my dad. Seems pretty simple. This example is a little bit more complicated. What happens when I get one dominant allele and one recessive allele? So in humans, brown eye color is dominant to blue eye color. My mom has brown eyes, and you can't really see it that well in this video, but my dad has blue eyes. My mom passes me that brown eyed allele and my dad passed me the blue eye allele. So do I have one brown eye and one blue eye? No, I have brown eyes. The reason for that is the brown eye color is dominant to blue eye color in humans. So my mom's brown eye color cancels out my dad's blue eye color. And I ended up with brown eyes, beautiful ones. So is there an easier way to show this without having to write no freckles allele and brown eyed allele and so on? Yes, there is. We can use letters to represent the alleles. We call that a genotype. A genotype is a person's combination of alleles represented by letters. Dominant alleles are represented by uppercase letters. So uppercase B, uppercase F, uppercase G, uppercase Q. And recessive alleles are represented by lowercase letters like lowercase f, lowercase b, lowercase g, and lowercase q. So we're gonna practice this by looking at three possible genotypes for eye color. So remember in humans, brown eye color is dominant to blue eye color. Because of this, we're gonna represent the allele for brown eye color with a capital B, and the allele for blue eye color with a lowercase b. So our possible combinations of these letters are big B, big B, big B, little b, and little b, little b. So if we have dominant traits, our big b's are gonna give us brown eyes, our little b's are gonna give us blue eyes, and big b, little b is gonna give us, um, well, remember, 
only one dominant allele is needed for that allele's trait to show up in the organism. So because we have a big B, that little B gets canceled out and our organism has brown eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna practice and we are gonna use those same examples from before, but this time we're gonna use genotypes. So here we are inheriting two dominant alleles. In humans, needing glasses, uppercase G, is dominant to not needing glasses, lowercase g. So my mom has the trait of needing glasses, so her genotype is big G, big G. My dad also has the trait of needing glasses, so his genotype is big G, big G. My mom will pass me that big G. My dad will pass me a big G. So then my genotype is big G, big G, and I need glasses. All right, example two, I'm gonna inherit two recessive alleles. In humans, having freckles is dominant to not having freckles. My mom's genotype is little f, little f, because she doesn't have freckles. My dad's genotype is also little f, little f, because he doesn't have freckles. My mom passes me that recessive allele. My dad passes me another recessive allele. So I end up with little f, little f as my genotype and sadly, no freckles. Okay, our last example, inheriting one dominant allele and one recessive allele. So remember in humans, eye color, um, or sorry, brown eyes uh, are dominant to blue eyes. So my mom has brown eyes, which means she has either big B, big B, or big B, little b as her genotype. My dad has blue eyes, so the only genotype that he can have is little b, little b. Now, even though we don't know which genotype my mom has, we know that she sent me a big B because my eyes are brown and they're not green. My dad passed me a little b, so my genotype must be big B, little b. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm really tired of saying big B, little b, and little b, little b, and so on. So is there another way to say this so I don't have to say big G or little f or whatever? Yes, there is. So you can use the terms purebred and hybrid. Here's how they're different. Purebred means you have two of the same alleles for a trait, either big B, big B, or little b, little b. This is also known as homozygous. Hybrid genotype is having two different alleles for a trait, so big B, little b. This is also known as heterozygous. So if we look at these examples, here I am purebred, big G, big G, and purebred, little f, little f, and here's a hybrid genotype, big B, little b. You can see that the purebreds have both letters in the same case, and the hybrid has a mix, one uppercase, one lowercase. We can be even more specific and separate purebred into purebred dominant and purebred recessive. Purebred dominant is two capital letters, and purebred recessive is two lowercase letters. Remember, those uppercase letters are for dominant, lowercase letters are for recessive, and purebred just means that both the letters are the same case. So what did we learn today? An organism inherits 50% of their genes from each parent in the form of a dominant or recessive allele. The trait an organism shows depends on what combination of alleles they receive from their parents. A genotype is the combination of alleles a person inherits described as two letters. An organism's genotype can be purebred dominant, purebred recessive, or hybrid. Thanks for watching and have a great day.